why Vicodin affects somebody with ADHD different. And comment your experience down below. So when it comes to something like Vicodin, hydrocodone, this affects people differently with ADHD than non-ADHD, and here is why. So you take a Vicodin and usually it's uh, an opiate, especially a powerful one like this, is going to kind of sedate you. It makes you feel good, it makes you feel relaxed, kind of like a warm bear hug. Well, for somebody with ADHD, this is producing dopamine. This produces a decent amount of dopamine, which now gives us energy. ADHD people will pop opiates, and it doesn't even matter if it's Vicodin, Hydrocodone, it doesn't matter if it's Oxy. That dopamine produced outweighs that relaxed feeling and it energizes us. Now we feel good, we have big mood energy, we are focused, we can do this, and guess what? Our body doesn't hurt. We don't feel pain at all because it's nullified all those receptors. So now this is even a more euphoric feeling. Instead of feeling relaxed and calm, we feel energized, focused, and our body doesn't hurt. This is a very addictive feeling for people with ADHD, especially because our brain picks up on how productive we can be. We can be productive doing anything, and our body also isn't holding us back through pain. It is one of the scary side effects of having ADHD is because we're not processing dopamine correctly. Our brain doesn't produce it correctly. So when we take something like this and it produces a lot of dopamine, it gives us an effect that a lot of people don't realize because most people, when you see heroin addicts or opiate addicts, man, they're just kind of like knocked out, just kind of sitting there almost like drooling out, just fucking relaxed, but not someone with ADHD. And again, I share for educational purposes only. I'm a recovering cocaine and alcoholic addict, and there is no right or wrong way of getting sober. It's your way. Whether it's going to rehab, inpatient treatment, outpatient treatment, download Sunflower Sober. Tag down below. Link is in the bio. 24-hour tools, support, resources, everything you need to get sober and stay sober. Go to AA meeting, an NA meeting, an Elanon meeting. Go to all the meetings and then some. Go to a doctor, a psychiatrist, a therapist. Get on the right meds. Do all of it. Rinse and repeat and find what combination works for you because we are all different. But you got this one day at a time and I believe in you.